Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I get it now. We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is that to say? Oh, something like I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, bold headed, and I smell like blood and shit. I like my version better. Yeah, this gives me Vinland Saga vibes, bro. Speaking of, I can't wait for it to come back. Are we on that? anymore oh my god he's strong Once I get good in combat like this, what? What? Oh, now we jumping him. Oh my God. I would hate to be a Viking, bro. Like, imagine getting jumped as a Viking. Yo, where am I at? Sail homes of Fornberg, got you. Raid successful. Nah, I want to raid some more. I like that. <laughs> that's, not, that's not a good thing. I probably shouldn't say that. Yes, sir. Probably shouldn't say that. Anything else to loot? Oh, damn, they all got in the ship? Eivor! 
You must row in these waters. You need to row out. The sailing is pretty cool. Harder and stronger than before. No surprise. Pause. Pause that. This war spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns my full fist. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. So it's a lot of people who got beef with this guy. King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course you will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. That's all exactly, bro. You're worrying about the wrong things right now. Attacked your this fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there is a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last song. Whose side are you on, bro? I'm getting confused now. Do y'all like me or no? Like, seek the wild and play, friend. Just to say, Salay, come. Wait, can we? No. Wait, this game takes forever. No way, no way. I'll forfeit for now. This game is taking forever. Swain, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. I'll be going. See you later, Swain. Sure. Is there no one who will go around with me? All right, Tekla. I'll outdrink you. I'm good. I'm off. Be well, friend. We thought we had lost you, Eivor. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Landry. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? Hello, oh. My husband should be home today. Oh, the last we, we don't care. He was approaching <laughs> we don't care about you now. <laughs> we have need of his courage. Husband. Sigurd Ooh. will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned, but we killed many of Kyotr's warriors, and there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah, after so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A 
cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since. Oh, he's pretty young. The day he was killed. He's pretty young. The day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Let's do it. Skills menu. Let's get it. Thank you. That was aggressive. Stealth? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we don't care about range. We don't care about range. That uses up two. Oh well, fuck it. <laughs> that wasn't the person I was supposed to speak to. Wolf kids, welcome back. Gunnar, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor. Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck will have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future... Bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. Let's go. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I like that. I'm so not used to games like this, bro. <laughs> that should do it. Anything else? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. Why? You were together how long? Five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate. She's for the streets, bro. She's for the streets. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. <laughs> lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of. He said, I need the baddies. <laughs> I'm done here. That's all for now. Return any time. He said, I need the baddies. I don't know what you on. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Albus. Ah, Eivor. 
The only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? No, I'm good. No, not now. Understood. Perhaps later. Hmm. Damn. Oh, it's a two hand, that's why. Holy shit. God damn, he's practically just These dudes are beasts, bro. Imagine this. Imagine this. it whatever yes, sir Oh, there's more. Oh, okay. Iron ore, I'll take that. This gives me Elden Ring vibes. I could play a game like this because there's structure. Like, for some reason, I just really didn't like Elden Ring. Not because it was hard, because yes, the game was hard, but I like things with structure. And if you give me too much freedom, I'm not going to know what to do with myself. So. A game like this where it's like, okay, there's a set path, there's a set, you know, there's goals, there's tasks. 
it's like, hey, if you just give me too much freedom, it's just like, man, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to begin. And some people like that, but me personally, I'm just not with it. Know how hard it is to break obsidian? It's a rock. Oh, no, I'm good on that. Take that. Ivan, wake up. Or you will be cast into the wild. <laughs> Lucky I don't tell on him. Stay awake. It could be anywhere. Is he walking in his sleep? No way. Wake up, you're headed for the edge. Wait, what? Is he going to ride the rope slide? Windy storm coming. <laughs> Bro. What? Passions full, but Nah, this guy is crazy. Nope, can't.
Okay, so what's the point of coming up here? Oh, so I didn't. So I didn't need to come up here. Is, is, is what you're telling me? Nice. Oh shit! I'm about to. Like I just knew I was taking damage from that. Yes, sir. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna kill myself with these stunts. Praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I. I have come for your advice. In a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has... They embrace death so openly. Now, let her speak to your needs. I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lost. Or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears. And then a figure. A grey beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the high one. 
He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. Have you used this sort of magic before? I feel like that's the... I have no fear. It was not my Seder that made her like this. Her condition inspired the elixir. Did it help her? For a time, it opened her up to visions. Strange, unreadable things. Then she returned to her current state. Drink. Just give me Black Panther vibes. If you seek true understanding. Anybody who does shrooms, they always tell you that they, they always tell you this. Do shrooms to get like a go on a trip. I'm not that kind of guy. I'm good on that. No shade to anybody that does shrooms though, you know? Just be safe about what you're doing and do it in moderation. I saw nothing, Valka. Felt nothing. Javi! Javi! I walk among the dead. Oh, I can't even use the... Oh, there we go. Sigurd. Sigurd. Brother, when did you arrive? Oh. I will say though, there is some truth to that because <laughs> I did, um, you know, I took an edible before and I took quite a lot and it was definitely like having an out of body experience because it was like, I was just looking at myself in third person. Like I was floating over myself. I was slumped and I was just floating over myself, looking at myself like, yo, you are fucked up right now. <laughs> Like, yo, you're really done. Brother! What is this? There was no other way, Javi. Our fates are fixed. Sing it! Oh, wow. <laughs> Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. 
I am here. Gods, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain, in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolf kissed, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition or your fear. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you and where it ends. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He is my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No! This is wrong! Oh, you misunderstand! That cannot be right! You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate! It can be done! Hmm.